Good evening. You are very welcome to join me as we celebrate on this Monday Thursday here at St David's. On Monday Thursday, normally we would be gathered together to celebrate communion, but tonight, obviously with the restrictions of COVID-19, we are unable to do so. So I'd invite you to listen as I read the words of Matthew's Gospel. As I read the words of institution and in Matthew, I'll pour wine, I will break bread. I'd invite you perhaps to take bread yourselves at home, but to join with me spiritually as we remember our Lord Jesus who said, do this in remembrance of me. My sisters and brothers, Christ shows his love for by coming a humble servant. Let us draw near to God and confess our sin in the truth of God's Spirit. Most merciful God, we, your church, confess that often our spirit has not been that of Christ. Where we have failed to love one another as he loves us, where we have pledged loyalty to him with our lips and then betrayed, deserted or denied him, forgive us, we pray, and by your Spirit make us faithful in every time of trial, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Who is in a position to condemn? Only Christ, but Christ suffered and died for us, was raised from the dead and ascended on high for us, and continues to intercede for us. Believe the good news in the name of Jesus Christ. You are forgiven. Glory be to God. Amen.
reading from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 26, verse 17. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time is near. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, I tell you the truth, one of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say to one another, Surely not I, Lord. Jesus replied, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go just as is written about him. But woe to the one who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. Jesus answered, Yes, it is you. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine, from now on until the day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom.
When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. <laughs> 